welcome to the very first edition of ABC News, where children's views count. We will be taking a look at all the news from the children of Butte and, trying to, um, and bringing you all the important stories. Never fear, we will keep you completely up to date about what is happening during lockdown. This week's headlines. Card shop kindness. We report on an innovative way of helping people keep, on t keep in touch without going online. Bake Off causes breakfast chaos. We have the full story. Good evening. Local card shop owner Nikki Sayers has come up with an innovative way of helping people keep in touch without going online. Our reporter has the full story. We've been keeping an eye out for some good news happening on the island. We have noticed some rave reviews about the fantastic service that the card shop are doing for the community. We're here with Nikki to find out more. Hello, Nikki. Hello, sweetheart. Thanks for asking me on to your show. Can you tell us a little bit about you and the card service that you've been doing? Well, I moved to Rothsea when I was 17. Um, I had various jobs from bar work to legal secretary. I then trained as a paralegal and worked in Greenock for four years. And after that, I bought the shop just over eight years ago now. When lockdown started, um, I wanted to help in any way I could. And so I decided to take some photographs of the cards and put them on my Facebook page. Basically, people just go on to the page, they look through the photographs, choose the card that they want, and then they send me a message with the name, address and their message, and I write and post the cards on their behalf. This means they don't have to leave the house and special occasions aren't missed. Being in lockdown is hard enough, but at least receiving a card from a loved one brings a smile and brightens the day. Where did the idea for your card service come from? Um, I suppose it's based on Moonpig. I had been thinking about doing something similar, but I couldn't figure out how I was going to get the photographs onto my Facebook page. I'm not that great with technology. Anyway, I was out walking with Alfie and I was talking with Zarea. I happened to mention to her about it and she explained how to put the photographs in albums when putting them on Facebook. And the rest is history. Have you had a lot of people ordering cards? Is your hand really sore from writing so many? I have had a lot of orders and not just from Rothsey. Just last week I had an order from a lady in Essex and another from Wales. Yes, my hand does get sore when there's a lot of cards once because I have to write them in my best handwriting and make sure I don't make any mistakes. What do you think of the reaction online about it? I am thrilled at the response and the online comments. It really does mean a lot to me to know that people appreciate the service. Their continued support is everything and it helps me get through these difficult times. Hopefully it won't be too long before we're open again. And meantime, keep smiling. That's all from us here. Nikki truly is a community hero by ensuring everyone to keep connected during this strange time. Fantastic. Back to you in the studio. We have alarming reports coming in this week. Um, this week's Great British Bake Off has caused chaos at breakfast time in many households on the island as children clamour for muffins, cinnamon buns and pancakes. One mother, who did not want to be named, told us her kitchen ceiling would never be the same again after literally being battered every morning for the past week. What's wrong with good old fashioned cornflakes, she asked, or toast? They used to love toast. We asked the creators for the Bake Off to comment on the situation, but unfortunately, no one was available for interview. Of course they weren't. On a happier note, this week we met Rossi at Bedtime Stories super fan William, who has been enjoying um, greatly a daily, daily bedtime story with a difference. Our reporter has more. Hello, boys and girls! Hello, William. We've heard you're the Bedtime Stories super fan. Is that right? Yes! Tell us what you like about the bedtime stories, William. I like them all listening to me a bedtime story. Do you listen to the bedtime story every single night? Yes! What is your favourite story and why? I love it for the makeup reading. Because it's good! I like the piano! We've heard that you're a very good reader and made your own bedtime story. Can you tell us what it was? Put up rabbit. William's bedtime story will be on tonight. So what do we always say at the end of a bedtime story, William? Night, night, Alexa, lights off. So it's night, night and lights out for Alexa and me too. And now 
in what we very much hope will be a regular slot, we would like to introduce you to Rhys, who has been making the most of the wonderful weather we have been enjoying to get out in the garden. Every week, Green Fingered Rhys will be sharing some of his garden hints and tips with the nation. Take a look at this. Welcome to Rhys's garden. During lockdown, Rhys has been very busy in his garden. This week, Rhys has been upcycling different items into planters for his garden. Today, he's going to show you how he converted an old bucket into a lovely plant pot. What are they hold for, Rhys? Um, water. Yeah, good man. Thank you very much for the garden. Hey, hey. Now, um, Reese is not the only person who has been making the most of being at home. We are now going to go over to Kayla, who has been indoors watching a lot of films recently, but who has managed to recreate the special cinematic experience in her own home. Hi, I'm about to go into the cinema. I've got my ticket. I'm so excited for this to start, I actually cannot wait. <gasps> so, you finally got round to seeing The Wizard of Oz. What did you think of the film? I thought it was really, really, really good. And what was your favourite part of the movie? When Dorothy got her red slippers. So is Dorothy your favourite character then? No. Who was your favourite? The Tin Man. Okay, well thank you for your time. Have a lovely evening. Bye. I will. Fantastic. And now it's time for sport. Zoe, what do you have to report for us this week? Hi guys. Today I'm going to be showing you three simple exercises you can do at home. This exercise is a plank and do this for 15 seconds. Next up we're going to be doing an exercise I like to call bike in the air. you're going to be doing 10 jumping jacks. Love to see you try these at home. Have fun! Wonderful. So as you can see, the children in Butte have not been letting the grass grow under their feet during the lockdown. We'll be reporting on more st stories next week on ABC News. And now I'll hand you over to our weather reporter, Liam, with his very own take on the island's weather for the week. Oh, that's a horrible background. I've got an idea. Tired, or you're watching the weather. Well, I hate to tell you this, folks, but it looks like it's going to rain. But look on the bright side. Rain is good for the garden because it makes things grow. It grows grass, flowers, and rainbows. 
Oh yes it does. So until next week, enjoy your weather. It's been great to hear all the creative, crazy and most of all kind stuff that people have been doing during this lockdown. We'll be on air once again this time next week. But in the meantime, if you have any stories you would like to share, just get in touch. The contact details are on the screen right now. There. <laughs>